forget to subscribe! Spinosaurus carried Pororo and Krong on his back and walked for a long time toward the Smoky Mountain, all on an empty stomach. Oh, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything since this morning. I'm so hungry, I might faint. Hey guys, we should eat something. When the Spinosaurus turned back to look at them, there was suddenly a strange sparkle in his eyes. Huh? Oh my! What's all this delicious meat doing on my back? Uh, mister! Mister! Get a hold of yourself! It's us! We're the ones who pulled out the fish bone from your mouth! It's Bonodo and Krong! Uh, oh, oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm just so hungry. After hearing what he said, Bonodo and Krong felt bad for the Spinosaurus, a large carnivorous dinosaur who hadn't eaten anything since morning. <sighs> Mr. Spino, we'll go on our own from here. You should go back and eat something. Krang, krang, krang. Oh, really? Oh, uh, but I, I just can't leave you guys who helped me out alone in such a dangerous place like this. It's okay. We even met a Tyrannosaurus and he didn't hurt us at all. Krang, krang. Wow. You kids are amazing. Well, I guess I already knew that when the two of you walked into my mouth without any fear. <laughs> <laughs> the Spinosaurus smiled pleasantly and lowered himself so Bororo and Krong could get off. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go now. Make sure to find that dinosaur that looks like Krong! Bororo and Krong waved goodbye until the Spinosaurus disappeared into the horizon. <laughs> All of a sudden, a loud scary roar rang out from the distance. Is that the sound of the dinosaur that lives on the Smoky Mountain? Krong, Krong, Krong. But we still have to go and check. Krong, Krong, hold my hand tight. Krong, Krong. Pororo and Krong held hands tightly and walked toward the Smoky Mountain. The closer they got to the mountain, the scary roars only became louder and louder. <laughs> then, a dark shadow appeared at the bottom of the mountain. It had a big bumpy head and scary-looking horns. It looked just like a monster. Roar! I'm a dangerous and scary, monstrous dinosaur! Hurry up and run away before you get in trouble! <coughs> Bororo and Krong were so frightened that they hugged each other tight. Run away! No way! Bororo decided to be brave and looked straight at the dark shadow. He saw that the shadow had a big sharp horn on its head and another smaller horn on its nose. Oh, I've never seen a dinosaur with horns like those before. Is it... is it really a monster? Krong, who had been hiding behind Pororo and looking at the shadow, pointed to the shadow of another horn next to the big horn. Krong, Krong! Uh, look at that! There's really another horn! But is it broken? It looks like it snapped off in the middle! Just like Pororo said, the horn next to the big horn was shorter, as if it had broken off. But what if that horn had not broken off? 
A big head full of big and bumpy horns. A dinosaur with three horns on its head with a pointy mouth. Aha! I got it! This dinosaur is... a Triceratops! The dinosaur in the mountain, the dinosaur in the mountain, the dinosaur in the mountain... is a Triceratops. It has a big head and three sharp horns. Hey, you! Mr. Dinosaur hiding in the mountain! We know who you are! You're a Triceratops, right? Hurry up and come out! Krang, krang. Hey, everyone! Let's call him out together! Oh, Triceratops! Come out! Oh, oh Triceratops, Triceratops! Come out! Then, as the shadow got smaller and smaller, sure enough, a Triceratops appeared! Oops, you caught me. You guys sure are brave. The other dinosaurs all ran away when they saw my shadow. <sighs> we almost ran away too. <laughs> uh, by the way, what happened to your horn? Can you tell us how you broke your awesome horn? Oh, while fighting with a Tyrannosaurus, the Tyrannosaurus bit my horn with his teeth <laughs> and broke it off. <sighs> Ever since then, I've been hiding out on this mountain. Whenever anyone gets close, I make scary noises on purpose and I use my big shadow to scare them away. Huh? But why? Huh? I'm afraid that the other dinosaurs might tease me. They'll say that I'm a lousy Triceratops who couldn't even keep his horns. The Triceratops drooped his big head and spoke with a sad voice. Hey, that's no good. Who teased you? It's a wound from bravely fighting with a Tyrannosaurus. Why should you be embarrassed? That's something to be proud of. Don't be friends with dinosaurs who tease you about that. That's right, Crunk. R Really? Of course! T to be honest, living all alone here has been really lonely! <laughs> At times like these, you need a friend next to you. Having a friend with you in hard times makes everything feel that much better. Right, Krong? Krong, Krong. Huh. You mean just like you two? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Thanks to you, I feel brave now! Why don't I go out and find a good friend who will be with me through hard times? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait a minute! I have a question before you leave! What's your question? By any chance, have you seen a dinosaur that looks like Krong? According to Mr. Spinosaurus, you met and fought with a lot of different dinosaurs! Huh? Oh? Who, me? All I do is live quietly and eat grass. After the Tyrannosaurus attacked me and I somehow ran away, I've just been hiding. Oh, I see what you're saying. Where did Mr. Spino even hear that rumor then? Krunk, Oh, uh, is something talking about me? I wonder what they're saying. <laughs> Right! By the way, where are you two going? We're looking for a dinosaur that looks like Krong. We need to go to a place where there are a lot of dinosaurs we can ask about that. Then, come with me to where there's a big group of us Triceratops. Once we get there, you can ask all the other Triceratops. Sounds great! <laughs> the Triceratops carried Bororo and Krong on his back, walked for some time, and then walked some more. That's weird. There used to be a field around here where we all munched on grass together. Maybe you forgot because it's been so long? No, no way. That can't be right. Huh. Oh, 
There! It's over there! After passing through that forest, you'll see it! There's going to be a huge field over there! The Triceratops hurried to ward the forest. But once they passed the forest, what they saw was not a field. Uh, look, it's the sea! Karam! Uh, huh? That's weird. When did this place become an ocean? While the Triceratops looked around with a puzzled look on his face, Pororo and Krong looked at the endless blue sea that lay in front of them. We can't just pass by this amazing view without having fun! Krang, krang. <laughs> hey, we're going to play in the water here. Oh, is that so? All right. Bye then. Uh, is it this way? Uh, uh, or was it this way? Uh. <laughs> Pororo and Krong said their goodbyes and waved their hands as the Triceratops walked further away from them. Sure to find a group of friends. Good luck out there. Krang, krang. A refreshing sea breeze blew behind Pororo and Krong as they stood there waving goodbye. <sighs> I can't believe there's an ocean in the dinosaur krang. world. Krang, krang. What does the ocean look like in the dinosaur world? And what kind of cool dinosaurs might be living there? Dino Pororo. See you all in the next episode!